My name is Marie Tuboff, and I am a conservator here at the Museum of Anthropology in Vancouver, BC, Canada. My undergraduate degree is in biology. Um, I, I, and I really took a lot of biochemistry and organic chemistry classes. I really enjoyed uh, particularly the organic chemistry, although um, I became more and more interested in the arts and I like the idea of working in a, in a museum. Um, and so I just tried to combine those two, um, my two interests into one, and conservation was something that I could combine those two interests in. Um, I'm uh, working with our uh, portable XRF unit, which is an X-ray fluorescence dispersion analytical piece of equipment. What it does is uh, it uses x-rays uh, to determine the elemental analysis of, of certain materials. Uh, so at the museum, uh, we use it, there's a couple different ways that we use it. Um, uh, one application is you can determine uh, the, uh, the alloy content of um, different metals, say, Coppers. If you're if you're trying to source, uh, find the original source of um, a copper object, you can look at the chemical breakdown um, and the ratios of different metals in the copper, and you can source where it comes from. Uh, but most frequently, we use it to um, detect the presence of heavy metals on our objects, and those heavy metal me metals are often. Uh, the result of pesticides used on organic collections, so a lot of our um, baskets or masks or um, things made up out of wood or fur, uh, often have these heavy metal um, pesticides on them, um, or not often, but they are, they can be found in organic collections. And uh, because we, um, we encourage community members to come and uh, see collections from their community or from their families. Uh, and we also uh, have no restrictions about handling. Um, but we do have the responsibility to tell them if there are any contaminants on it, any pesticides. So when I say heavy metals, I mean things like um, arsenic or lead or mercury, which are um, toxic, and you don't want to handle them. So um, that's what that's what we use this uh, the RXRF for a lot, and it's nice because it's a non-destructive technique, and it's portable. So you can just pick it up, and you can point it at your object, and then get a reading, get a spectra, and you uh, can tell if there's any. Um, heavy metals in them, or pesticides. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I, um, uh, this tool is, is a, it's a really great, um, it's a really great tool to have in the museum because it can tell us very quickly um, if, the, if the heavy metals are there. One thing that it isn't as great at doing is telling you how much. So you could have trace amounts of something like arsenic, um, but how much? Is it really, really toxic? Is it a little toxic? It's hard to tell. Um, so what I've done is I have, um, I've poisoned a bunch of um, organic materials and I plan on reading them with our XRF to see what kind of peaks we get and to s correlate that somehow into a quantitative uh, guesstimate of, of um, toxins. This is uh, a box um, that we suspect might have arsenic on it. So I'm going to use the um, PXRF to see if arsenic will show up in our spectra. So like I said, what's great about this is it's non-destructive, so I just have to lay the instrument on the box and press OK.
And so that's our spectra. That's, those are the elements that it's, those peaks, each of those peaks is an element. So we, standard, we standardize each reading uh, between 60 and 90 seconds. So that's what it does. So I can tell by looking at the spectra um, that there's a lot of lead in it because you get a really big peak right here. That's the lead peak. So those are your elements, that's your periodic table. Right? And so if we want to know if there's arsenic in here, AS stands for arsenic. And so this over here is if we had arsenic in the sample, we would get one of these peaks over there. We, we blast it with the x-rays and it splits apart the atoms and then it measures the energy that the atoms uh, release when they break. And so this is the characteristic energy for lead. So if I press uh, lead, which is there on the periodic table, Perfect. yeah, it matches up much better. Uh, and there's different shells too that you can look at, but actually, mm, so, yeah. And so that gives you the opportunity to say, this one is poisonous, so you tag it poisonous or sort of? Right. So in this particular example, um, there was a question of whether there was arsenic on it. So we can say no, there's no arsenic on it. However, <laughs> there is a lot of lead. Um, and then that's, that's the kind of questions that we ask. So, um, you know, we look for arsenic, mercury, and lead. Um, the really toxic stuff.